Hi, welcome to another episode of Pour It Up, the show where we explore the best that Philly has to offer in cocktails, craft beer, and coffee. Today, we are in West Philly at Dock Street Brewing Company to learn all about the amazing beers that they make here. So, I am with Sasha, and he's going to walk you through the process. So, Sasha, tell us what is it that you do here? How many gallons of beer do you brew per day, per week? How does it work? So we are a brew pub based out of West Philadelphia, uh, which means we have a restaurant that we produce our alcohol or beer for, and we distribute some in the city as well. We're a 10 barrel brew house, so we produce 20 kegs at a time, roughly, give or take. Uh, it comes kind of burdensome to create so little beer at one time, but it really gives us a ton of flexibility with the styles of beer that we do. Um, we sell most of our beer in-house, and again, a little bit out into the city but it gives us the freedom to do about 40 different styles of beer per oh, year. Wow. Uh, one of our most popular ones is our Rye IPA. Mm -hmm. It's 6.8%, it's really hoppy, it's boozy, it's uh, got great citrusy hop character to it. Another really popular one that we do is our Summer in Berlin. It's a tart wheat beer with lemongrass and ginger. Oh, that sounds uh, refreshing. Yeah, it's great. It's got that <laughs> lactic punch, kind of like you're drinking a glass of lemonade and lemongrass and ginger, so I like to think it's good for you as well. Nice. So what's going on over here? I hear some music. This looks really interesting. Uh, we're funky beers. and I they love use those. I just started drinking them. Yeah, right? it's, they're so much like, complex and refreshing yeah. and nothing's really the same, which I really like about it. Absolutely. But um, there's types of bacteria and yeast that will metabolize sugar and create not only alcohol and carbon dioxide, but a little bit of acid. It can be acetic acid, it can be lactic acid, mm -hmm. um, and they give a really nice pleasant tartness to the beer. Yeah. So we took a Saison and we pitched it into this red wine barrel and we added two different strains of Britannomyces, oh, which is going to make like a funky, yeah. tart, kind of yeah. pineapple-y, um, sour characteristic. And we decided we wanted to take it one step further. Uh, yeast and bacteria are living organisms. They react to the environment around them, whether that's temperature, uh, vibration, um, and that's kind of what we're harking on right now. So we set up a six-month playlist of Wu-Tang Clan and set up speakers attached to the barrel. So every time there's a different beat or every time there's a different rhythm, the yeast is experiencing different vibrations and the bacteria are experiencing different vibrations. So it's it combines what we love to do: music, beer, uh, experimentation, science, and we How like to have fun. How many months in are you? We're about four months in, and oh, we'll wow. tap this in September. And nice. Yeah, our staff's already complaining about these Wu Tang dreams they have. <laughs> Very awesome. So what's going on inside here? We are working with another uh, with a biochemist from University of Pennsylvania. So in the air all around us, there are wild yeast and bacteria that can potentially either spoil beer or be used to ferment beer mm -hmm. and create these nice sour beers. I'm going to let you try it first. Okay. Mm, it smells nice and tart and funky, like yeah, sour beers. And it started out as just sugary water. Really no characteristic to it. So everything you're tasting mm. is stuff that's floating around the air nice. right now. Well, this is super refreshing. And you, if you haven't had a sour beer, I highly recommend it. But that's all the time we have today on Pour It Up. So join us next time on My New Philly, where something's always new and everything's always Philly. Thanks, Sasha. Cheers, guys.